doing sometimes uh, zoom so i'm just wondering where is my uh, share screen okay so uh, is everybody able to just see me for a two three minutes yes yes sir. okay so welcome you all to this uh, session on uh, geogebra uh, basically in this session what i'm going to do is uh, introduce you to the software called geogebra uh, assuming you don't know nothing about it that's what uh, when he said that uh, probably you should begin from the beginning and then uh, how much time we have for any so actually we our classes uh, till uh, what is the time uh, 11 o'clock actually okay our classes till 11 o'clock so 5 minutes before 11 i should leave right yes yes okay good so you just give a indication when to stop because i may be forgetting not keeping uh, mind of the time probably yes okay sure. Yeah, so uh, let me uh, share my screen, and uh, you won't see my face now. Only the mathematics part of it. Yeah, um, you are seeing my screen. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay, okay, fine. So let me just uh, open uh, what I want to share and say. is the title visible to all okay. yes sir okay so uh, this is uh, what i'm going to talk about what is geogebra why we should be using it and how one can use it so in between if you have any uh, questions to ask you can put probably in the chat and vinni can track it yes maybe uh, she will stop me sometime uh, saying that now is the time to probably uh, answer a few questions before the time for the class is over right so um, i uh, if everybody knows about geogebra then i can save time by without saying much about geogebra but let me just go through so that it comes in the recording and you can uh, so geogebra is basically a free dynamic geometry software what does it mean it is a free software that means you don't have to pay any money or pay any yearly amount or anything to download it use it uh, share with anybody all for academic purposes of course it is a dynamic geometry software it is a software about uh, geometry uh, but much more actually now because it started off uh, as a geometry software it is dynamic that means what uh, that means for example when you draw a picture on the blackboard it is a static picture you draw a picture uh, draw a diagram draw a figure on your uh, notebook that is static you can't do anything about it you can only erase it or uh, draw it again but dynamic geometry software means once you have drawn something you can move these things around and see how the things change if you change something right so it is dynamic uh you can uh, move things around and see how the things uh, look like we'll see examples of these things uh this is a, a site called geogebra.org from where you can download it so let me just probably show you that site and uh, yeah oh, i had done some things here yeah so this is a site when you enter uh, what is called uh, geogebra dot in the google you enter the word geogebra and this is the first site you will see it. so the first one is www.geogebra.org click here i will take you on to the website want to download the things so uh, here is a app download so click on that so it will show you that uh, page from where you can download the various components of it uh, the best thing to start with is uh, look at uh, uh, look at uh, geogebra classic uh, this is the best version uh, to be start using it because it's very user friendly and uh, so when you click on download 
it will save the software somewhere wherever on your desktop you want it once you have saved it you can click and start opening so i have already downloaded uh, the software so let me probably uh, show you so on your desktop you will or wherever you have downloaded you will find this kind of symbol uh, so when you click that uh, it will start loading so this is what you will see on your screen once you uh, have downloaded and installed it and then uh, you open it so this is what you will see so uh, um, till now anybody has any questions you can ask otherwise i will just go ahead with the so what i have shown you is go to the site called geogebra.org right on that site click uh, the download options and look for geogebra classic 5 so this is the version that uh, i am using for a long time and i find it very uh, intuitive and uh, user friendly to uh, learn and do many things so uh, uh, probably i think uh, i won't go to my slides now i think i have a geogebra in case uh, you have your laptops with you and in case you want to uh, go along with me uh, please open your uh, laptop if you already downloaded and installed open geogebra and uh, go with me so uh, shall i go ahead or wait for yes. you to yes sir sir actually no we yes, have uh, two mathematics group the one mathematics group is here only in this session and there is another mathematics group who's actually taken science this time but i had told them that we are having uh, the session on geogebra so you can post the questions so they have posted uh, two three questions so can i address it now yeah please please go ahead so uh, they have asked can we use geogebra in in our ppt uh, uh geogebra in ppt cannot be uh, installed because ppt is a priority software uh, uh, powerpoint is a microsoft priority software which does not allow java uh, this uh, geogebra is a java based uh, uh, application which cannot be embedded inside ppt for example in my presentations also i am using adobe acrobat reader my presentation which i just now showed you this one for example um uh, this is uh, uh, i can't embed this uh, in this uh, i can only give a link and when you click the link you will be able to open it in a separate window so it cannot be a part of a presentation when you but you can give a link and when it opens it it will open it in a separate window so that is a the second uh, question is sir that can we share this geogebra page with the students because i could see a classroom and all on the geogebra website yes, yes. Uh, see yes. that is a slightly <clears throat> advanced version of uh, i won't say advanced version that is add on on to geogebra there is a, a possibility of creating a, a classroom on geogebra okay where you can post your thing hmm as a something uh, activity which uh, needs uh, interaction with students okay right uh, you can if you just want to post it uh, you can post it on upload it on geogebra site as a resource okay and then uh, send link to all students and they can download and use it okay but if you want to work with students and want to see how they are using it then you can go to geogebra classroom okay and create a class and in that class you should have already uh, put in your uh, material whatever it is you want to sort of add so that is a feature probably you should learn a bit uh, uh, later on we saw could... it also but we just wanted to confirm and can yeah. we teach geometric constructions through geogebra that's the last question yeah yeah it is okay so here is uh, <clears throat> the software called geogebra as you see the name the first three letters are geo that means you can do everything in geometry on this and second part is jebra that is two uh, last four letters of algebra so it is something that combines algebra and geometry together so that i will show you now so once you click it and open it that is what you will see on your screen the geogebra interface this is what we call as geogebra interface in this part which is blank at present on the left side this is an algebra panel 
whatever you do, the algebra of that will appear on this side. This is a graphics panel where you will draw your figures. Okay. So in this graphic panel, there are there is an axis already given to you. There is a grid also given to you. If you don't want that, you can remove that. So let us first do that very small exercise. You select the in. Okay. Uh, here is uh, the toolbox. All these things you see, these are these are called toolboxes, various tools to do geometry. So I'm just going to click on the last one. Okay. It says move geometry. So I can move this view anywhere I like. If I want to bring the axis in the center, I can bring it in the center on the left, on the right, down, up kind of a thing. And once it is selected, if I click on on the geometry view, right click. So I'm doing right click. It says I'm showing axis. I'm showing grid, right? I can zoom it. I can zoom out, zoom in and other properties. So if I click this axis, see what happens. So, so do I, let me do it one, once again. I am here in the graphics view. I right click, I get the axis. If I click axis, see what has happened. Mm. Axis has disappeared, right? If I don't want axis, why should I keep it? It clutters the uh, view. If I want it again, then click back, right click and click axis will reappear. So hiding and uh, reappearing axis all with respect to this. Again, I right click, there is a grid here. That means all is like a graph paper. I don't want that. So I click, the graph paper goes away. I click, the graph paper comes again. So hiding and showing the basic uh, page on which you are going to do the drawings, right? Okay, so let us keep that much it is and then start doing something. So here is the first one on the left hand side, the toolbox. I'm explaining one by one. Here is something move. This is the kind of a neutral gear in a car. And you do anything, you should come back and click more on this. That will move the objects. I'll just now show you how it moves the objects. So let us first create an object. So this is the next one, a point A is shown. If you click on the right triangle here, it shows the various possibilities what you can do. You can create a point. You can create a point and object. You can attach a point to some object. You can intersect two objects. For example, you can intersect two lines, a line and a curve, line and a circle, two circles and so on. You can find midpoints and complex numbers and so on and roots. So let me just create a point. So I have selected the point. Once you have selected, you'll see a blue box around that. That means that you have selected this tool, point tool. And in that point tool, I am selecting the point, the first one, so point. So once the tool is selected, I come to the geometry panel and click anywhere I like, where I want to create a point. So here is a point created. I click anywhere, a point is created and it is named as A. And its coordinates with respect to this axis appear in the algebra window. So this is a point A. With respect to this axis, this is the coordinates minus 3.2 and 5.8. So that is what I meant by the algebra and geometry. The algebra view is shown here. The geometry view is shown on this side. Now, what does uh, dynamic mean? Let us go back. Let us select the move. I have selected move. I, this is the point I created and I can move it anywhere I like. You can't do it on a blackboard. You cannot do it on a paper and pencil. You can do only in a dynamic geometry software. And you know what is happening as I move the points, the coordinates are changing. Whatever is the coordinate, if I move it here, the coordinate is 3.52, x-axis and y-axis. Anywhere, this is the coordinate. If I bring it to origin, the coordinates are zero, zero. So this is what I mean by geometric, uh, geometry which is dynamic. So this is a point that I have created. So let us let me create another point. So select point, let me create another point. So I have got two points A and B. These are the coordinates of the two points. I would like to find out where is the midpoint of that. So this software tells you, here is a midpoint. So click on midpoint, click on, Midpoint of what? 
is all logic. Midpoint of two points. One point A, one point A gives me the point C as the midpoint, and coordinates of C appear here. Now, if you want to do a bit of coordinate geometry with your students, you ask them what is the coordinate of the center, uh, midpoint of two. So this is x1 y1, this is x2 y2. What is the midpoint? That is x1 plus x2 y2, comma y1 plus y2 y2, and you can see it here. If I add up a plus b x coordinate, six plus four is ten. I think well, let me make it uh, slightly bigger. So here is the option. I can make everything look slightly bigger. That is the font size, options, font size, and I go to eighteen. See now you see slightly things are bigger and more. Font size is slightly bigger, so you can see it clearly. So x axis six plus four ten nine plus three twelve plus one thirteen nine ten eleven. So Half of that is 5.64, so this gives you the midpoint. And not only that, the beauty is I go back to the neutral gear, I select move. Now let me move the point A. Point A has moved. If point A is moved, the midpoint should change, right? So let us move it. So you see, if I if I move around A, C is also changing. The midpoint it is calculating what is the midpoint and telling me again whatever it is. i can do it with b also but i cannot move this point c the c cannot be moved why c cannot be moved because c is dependent upon a and b a and b were created without anything they were independent so here comes the notion of independent and dependent variables you can bring in functions from uh, your Class nine or ten or whatever it is, what is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable? So in GeoGebra, which you have created without any restriction, these are independent objects. So A and B are points which are objects called objects in GeoGebra. They are independent, but C is not independent because C is the midpoint of A and B. So C cannot be moved. To move C, you have to only move A and B, right? you cannot so what i have tried to tell you is how to create use the point tool when you create uh, the points you see uh, the objects created three i have created two points a and b i have created the midpoint of that okay all right so uh, let me uh, <clears throat> okay here is something which i probably tell you here is a uh, you see two arrows on the right hand side top of that geogebra it says undo uh, all are able to see i hope on the right hand top corner yes. where i have signed in below that okay. there is a arrow sort of going back this is a arrow going right kind of a thing so whatever you have done if you want to undo right you want to remove you don't like it or it is not what you wanted so you can undo so i click undo i moved around objects so it is undoing everything it has a, now i have reached a stage where i created a midpoint it has undone the midpoint also so that is gone okay so let us keep these points uh, two points and let me uh, now what you can do with points you can join the points by a line segment so let us go to the next tool which is called this is the next two points are the tools about lines so line line segment you can draw a segment with a given length Ray, polynomial, uh, polynomial line, vector, and so on. So let us just give go to the simplest one called segment. Because I am just illustrating these things. I can't reach you everything in twenty minutes. So you should learn yourself. So I have created two points. I can create a segment. Segment joining. See, so here is something which you should understand. Once you have a segment, it shows that segment can be created by dot and a dot and a line the symbol itself says you should you need two points and you join them to create a segment right so let us select that one point is a and once you don't leave it click it and go to the point b and join you got a segment ab so that is a segment created by joining a with b and this segment also is named it automatically names it as f if you don't like the naming 
so here is something which i should tell you uh, this is the object called the segment it says you see on the left hand side um, on the segment f name it says segment a and b right now in this segment a and b if i just right click on that on this right click it says it is a segment a and b joining the points show object this is a segment which is a object so i am showing that object if i click now segment is gone look at the geometry window the segment is gone it is no longer visible i want to make it appear again i can do the same thing i can right click and click on show object the segment appears again i can hide object i can show an object okay you can also show and hide by clicking this blue dot if i click the blue dot you see segment is gone and the blue dot has become white that means this object is hidden so this is, a, this is a indirect way of just showing okay but i click again segment appears but there is something more i can do the label this f for the segment is called the label of the object okay sometimes i want to show the label sometimes i don't want to show the label if i click label is gone from here label is not visible object is visible but label is not visible show label right click i this i will come uh, you can rename this if you like you can delete it if you like let me show you something about the object properties so what is the object this is a line segment that we created we named it as f or geogebra named it as f and the length of uh, the segment is 7.42 as per the axis so this is the length also shown there object what are the properties which i can change so click on this i am right click okay uh, right click here go to the object properties and you will see on the left hand side various things appearing a window appears which says properties of properties of the segment f what as it says the basic thing its name is f right if i want i can change the name if you like okay let us call it as uh, call it as segment s i have renamed it as s okay it is a segment joining a and b okay i am showing the object i can either so this is the name s i can put is a uh, you can put a caption on it if you like sometimes for example i can say it is a segment segment ab i just given a caption to this segment ab okay right you see when i write segment ab and click it appears here instead of f the caption has appeared because i have selected show caption okay i can change in the label i can show the name if i show the name s appears if i show name and value it is a s it's a length 7.42 i can uh, show the caption it is a segment and i can show caption and value it is a segment ab with the value as this various possibilities are there depending upon what you want to show so that is the basic properties of this okay right let us go to the color i can change the color of this object whatever i like there are so many colors available okay you can create more also if you like but let us just uh, click something so let me click red one so it has uh, selected the red color if i select the pink one something if i take the blue one if i take the green one all kind of so let us keep it as green so you can change the properties of the object and here are the color properties of the object right so i have chosen green it gives you rgb description also 0 100 0 whatever it is that is not really important for the time being style what does style mean how thick the line segment is going to be now it is at 5 for example if i make it 1 it becomes very thin probably it's not visible i want it 
make it very much visible let me make it 7 now it is very much visible to everybody right so depending upon where you want to exhibit how you want to exhibit how thick it should be you can change this line thickness okay line style sometimes you want a dotted line so here is a dotted line appearing you want a very very dot 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 line is it line will appear right so various properties of uh, so let us just uh, select the regular so you can choose various see when you do constructions you sometimes you want to put dotted lines so you can draw a segment and change its property what is decoration mean see sometimes you want to say this segment is equal to another segment so this is the kind of you want to put so one if you want you can put you can put two you can put three you can put an arrow so these are decorations on the segment you can do various things right so let us uh, keep it as plain for the time being because i am not going so advanced and scripting please leave this for time being because they are slightly advanced and not required so basic properties what is the name you can change name value uh, and caption such things color you can change the color if you like style thickness and let us close this because we have done with it so is the segment ab right now if i want i can go to the midpoint now is the segment i want midpoint of the segment so let us find out the midpoint of the segment midpoint earlier i created midpoint of a and b now i have got a segment so let me just click the segment it gives the midpoint of the segment again that point c appears right again for c i can go to object properties i can change the color i can make it as red right i can make it basic uh, show name and uh, let me say uh, name and value so it gives the name and value and other things this point also you can change various things style see this is a point style i can make it a point like this point like this point various possibilities of a point so let me probably put take a cross a cross appears here the point is shown as a cross so let me close it so i have taken line segment i have created a midpoint and here is the dynamics part of it i go to the neutral gear i shift the gear i move so let us move this point a now you see what is happening the segment the name stays there the value is changing the point c is changing and everything is changing right okay good good enough okay so let us uh, um, various possibilities you can create a line you can create a line through ab segment of a given length okay you want to create a segment of a given length you, that means what first you have to you have to tell me what is the length that you want to create right after you have created something for a length then i'll tell the value of that so for example uh, i want to say i want to create a length i want to create a segment of a variable length right so that is going to be a variable it is going to change so for that one has to come to this part called the slider part of it the second uh, on the right side second slider okay so select slider slider is a variable giving different values to a uh, variable so i select that so what i have done slider i have selected the slider now i come to the geometry panel and click anywhere once i click anywhere you will see a box appearing my slider is named as a okay it is a number i can have a slider for an angle i can have a slider for an integer depending on what is my requirement for me at present a is just a number so let us keep it as a what is the limit for which what is the interval in which a is going to vary right if it is going to be a length naturally it is not going to be negative so uh, i should change it to say zero okay but you can have a negative there are possibilities of creating negative length can be negative right in something somewhere so we'll come to that a bit later it is a maximum value is 5 how do you want this variable to change right 
you can change the values that is the increment it starts with zero say for example you, what is the next value you want if you put one here that means next value it will give is one it will decrease by one one two three four five okay that is a possibility you can change you can call it point one it increases by point one so point one point two point three and so on so let us keep it so it has created a slider right how do they create it i picked up slider right click here when i uh, sorry i selected slider i right clicked here it gave me this box and i created right i don't want another slider i was just exhibiting a why did i create this slider because i want i want a segment of a given length of length a now when i want to create a segment of a given length it says where i start that is a blue point and where do i end and segment is going to be something a right so i want to i let us select segment of a given length i want to start at a now it says what length you want i want the length to be a which i have created so i'll enter the variable a right is it clear what i have done yes sir yes okay yes, so yes, i click okay so it has created a point d and the length of ad is 1 but i don't want it on this side only my point d can we move anywhere i like i can move it like this here right so it gives length 1 ad is of length 1 the second point d could be anywhere you like it so let us keep it like this here right now here comes the geometry uh, dynamics part of it if i move a what do you think should happen this ad is of length a and a is equal to 1 so what do you think should happen length of ad will increase yes it will change according to the a so let us move it so let us move it so you see the length of a is changing according to if i had the negative it would have gone this side on the opposite side right it would change the direction i can do that so object properties i can still change it instead of minimum 1 let me make it minus 5 okay so i close it i have changed now you see not only it will go to zero it should go to negative also where is negative thumb oh no sorry the length of a segment of a given length so length is always positive so you can't do it in this okay so you can't change even if you change the slider to the value negative it doesn't it doesn't help now here is something i want to show you now see the magic is going to happen this is a which is changing i can change it manually as i was doing like this i can change it automatically so for that let us click right click you see that object is slider a object label right and various things there is a something called animation let me click animation and now you see what is happening i am not doing anything the slider is changing its values automatically according to the properties that it was given so it goes on right this is very interesting okay so let me uh, Here is a. Uh, sir, there is one. Uh, sir, there is a question here. Yeah. Suppose uh, you want to now, uh, when you put the slider, now you can see that uh, AD is forming uh, with that given length, uh, the way you are changing the measurement. But suppose you we want a particular angle to be made with AB. Is it possible, sir? Yeah, I'm. I'm. See, okay. I think the time has come to show you various tools, which you can try and experiment yourself. so i was just concentrating on these two things first two things right so that is what i shown now here is something you can create perpendicular lines parallel lines perpendicular bisector angle bisector tangents and so on all these creations are possible all these tools are available okay let us come to polygons you can create a polygon like a triangle okay for example let us select polygon and uh, For example, I have created a triangle. How easy it is! I can create a quadrilateral of anything. 
and all are independent objects. I can move them around, right? I can move this uh, triangle anywhere I like. I can move this quadrilateral. I can move this point I like, right? So this is what is uh, polygon. Regular polygon equal sides. So you can create polygons, triangle, quadrilateral, uh, uh, rectangle, uh, square, pentagon, regular, rigid, and so on. So this is creating closed bounded figures. You can think it as a tool. This is for circles. Circle with a given center, circle with a given radius, compass, all things with circle constructions, you can do it here. So let me pick up center with a given radius. So uh, let us uh, create a center with a given. This is, this is a center. I have chosen A. And let me choose that A length as A as my radius. I already created a slider, right? So let me use it. So, okay. So it gives me a circle of radius A, which is one. So if I move this now, the radius of the circle will change, right? I can animate it. So I can uh, animate that object. So let me animate that. Uh, so circle is changing automatically. The radius is changing, right? So this is possibilities of doing. Uh, here is uh, you can create ellipse, hyperbola, parabola, conics through various points. I'm just showing you the constructions possible. Here is angle. You can measure an angle. Okay. For example, so let us see. I want to measure what is the angle. I this I H K. I want to measure this angle. So while measuring, you should always go anti-clockwise. See, angle requires three points, one, two, and three, right? It is angle between two segments. So go anti-clockwise. You should not go top like this clockwise. You should go anti-clockwise. That means the vertex where the angle is to be measured should be in the center, but you should be going anti-clockwise. So let us uh, measure the angle. Otherwise, it will measure the other way around angle. There is nothing wrong with it. So like I, center is H and I go K, it gives me this angle, right? That measurement of this angle is uh, 66 degrees, H, K and J. It gives me this angle. So I can measure various angles if I like, right? You can measure the angles in the triangle F, E and this, and this, this and this, and this, this and this. So these are the three angles which I have measured. So now if you want, you can ask your students to total this. I can do it in GeoGebra itself. If you total this, the angle should come out as 180 degrees. Sum of angles of a triangle is 180. Not only for this triangle, I can move it. Sorry, this is, so let me move. Let me move this point. Angles will change, but you'll see the total of these three angles will always remain 180, right? I can do that also. So let me define here, uh, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So let me select something. Because I can't show you everything. This is a beautiful thing, eta. See here is the input bar at the bottom. I'm defining a new, a new object called eta. Eta is a value. What I want, eta, I want it as sum of these three angles, right? So that is uh, eta. So this is epsilon. Okay, so I have to type that. So for that, I, I can go here. In the, on the right-hand side, there is symbol uh, panel epsilon plus delta plus okay plus plus is not there so let me type that plus delta so i go back so i'm just creating in front of you delta plus alpha epsilon gamma plus delta so gamma i have to add so where is gamma where is here is gamma okay i add so you see that bottom eta has appeared on the algebra panel, eta is sum of the three angles. Yes. yes. This epsilon, gamma, and delta. It's telling you the property of this, and total is 180. Right? Now I can move it around. You see this, this, keep an eye on this. I'm going to move around the triangle. So if I move around this, 
you see that eta remains on eighty. Where whatever be the triangle, whatever be the point, wherever it may be, obtuse, acute, or anything, this value remains one eighty. Right. So this is uh, some of the things you can show on GeoGebra. I think uh, it's uh, almost uh, time. If any more uh, questions uh, are there, sir, yeah. I have a doubt. So can we show that eta uh, is equal to uh, epsilon delta and plus uh, epsilon plus delta plus gamma on the screen? Yes, you can do much more than that. Okay, uh, if you uh -huh. want to, that is the last thing I will be constructing. Uh, the equation, can we show that equation everything by changing the angle? Everything is possible. So okay. slider, text, here is a text window. Okay, so what was the object, symbol? So symbol was uh, delta, where is delta? So let me pick up delta here, where is delta? So let me write angle sum. Instead of this, angle sum equals, I know it is eta. So that is object eta I should show. So here is uh, object eta and I enter. Okay. So here is the angle sum showing on the screen. Okay. I can make it bigger if you like. Object properties, text slightly bigger. You want bold, you can do it bold, you can change the color, you can change the color to what? Okay, let us change the color to this. Okay. Now, if you want, you can write here, I can edit the text, object properties, text, uh, where is text, angle sum, equal to uh, symbols, uh, where is, uh, I have to search for the symbols basic R. Here is, what was the symbol? Epsilon plus basic uh, delta plus M plus uh, gamma, where is gamma basic gamma. So it is saying angle sum epsilon plus delta plus gamma. Here is angles, right? So it is showing that. Actually, I can uh, even uh, do slightly better. Uh, let me uh, let me revise it a bit. Slightly more, that will be more interesting for you point of view. Uh, I can show those objects itself. Epsilon plus delta. Now, uh, but I'm just winding up because this is the last thing I want to show. Okay. See, and now what has appeared is angle sum. This, these are the three angles. Yeah. These are the values. This is the total, showing everything. So let me just move around. I move around this thing. You see, angles are changing. Now, why why it has become 900? Sum has become 900 because it is not measuring the internal angle. Mm. It is measuring the external, external angle because it will become anti clockwise when I go down. Okay. Yes. So I shouldn't be doing that. So, yeah, yeah. so it remains 180. I can change anything if I like. Right. So this is a dynamic geometry software where you can show these things to your students. Let them create it themselves. Mm. Okay. Sir, I have one question. You have many questions, I know that, but uh, Vinny has to keep track of time. Yeah, the time is uh, running out. Okay, one more question and then we have to close. Yes, the last question. Um, uh, yeah, sir, uh, can you just show how to make a, a, a quadrilateral with a fixed, uh, fixed uh, length? length. Fixed so length. Can we, can yes, we uh, regular, use... Do you want a regular, regular polygon? Yes, sir. Uh, with the fixed length, like uh, all the length, I should be deciding the uh, length. Uh, you should the, be deciding. I mean, uh, like how you showed the length, segment length, no? With the fixed length, or uh, I can move it with the slider. Can I? This, okay, I'll tell you. At this point, you have to create a vector. You have to create a segment of a given length, whatever it is you have got. Yes, draw yes. that. From this point, draw another uh, segment of that second given length you have. You'll get another point. 
create four points and that possible so right? can we make a quadrilateral or a polygon uh, like that with that length yes it, it may not be always possible to create a triangle with three given lengths hmm. you understand that yes that is a theorem there is a triangle mm -hmm. inequality so you can't mm -hmm. always create an object with a given properties all given properties fixed mm -hmm. you can use that if you like okay but you can create a regular one with a given thing that you can do it that is easy okay for the regular polygon so i go regular polygon i click here sorry so lm that is a given of size 4 so i said 4 So it is a polygon. Mm, yes, yes. Right. I can create a regular one if I like, so it will remain a square wherever I move it. That doesn't matter. So you can take it as an exercise. What are the triangles given three lengths? How many triangles you can form? What are those triangles you can form? Yeah. Okay. So student. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think yeah. it's. Yeah. Understood. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, students. I think you know you have a uh, you have many questions. But sir, now after seeing this, if they have questions, can I mail it to you? Uh, is is it possible for you to answer in brief so that they can try it out on their own? Yeah. Uh, let me just show you something where they should go, and uh, I think that that's a good thing that okay. you ask me. So here is uh, the GeoGebra site that I said, right? GeoGebra org. Jojabra Org. Yes, yes. We have seen on that site. Yes. You got classroom resources. Yes. There are applets made by how many people? I don't know. How many applets? People have made and uploaded for you to use it free. You can download them. On arithmetic, geometry, you can have on trigonometry, calculus, probability theory, algebra, functions, or anything. Applets are available. if you don't think for example i enter in the search here sum of angles of a triangle i want to see applets on this topic so i enter in the search and it will search see how many it has shown mm -hmm. they are all pre made applets by teachers like you Yes. they have made it and they have uploaded on this site so that others can download and use it in their classroom if they don't have time to make it right mm -hmm. angle angle theorem okay sum of angles so let us look at this this applet they loads there itself you don't have to do anything i click this this is what i showed you just now right mm -hmm. sum of angles now here in this you can move this See, same which I have made, he has also made it and he has uploaded it for others to use it. If you don't want to use, so uh, always it is good that you go to that thing. Okay, for example, if I I go this, uh, if I have created, uh, let me just uh, uh, if I, if I click on the next, it says open in the app. This thing will open in a GeoGebra app. If you like, mm -hmm. open in GeoGebra app. So it has opened in an app, downloaded app now, right? And I want to save it for my use. So three buttons here on the right side again. Click. It says download. I can download it from my desktop. I download. How do you want it? You can GeoGebra various possibilities. Let us say GeoGebra file, right? And save. you give it a name it will save it on your desktop then you can change anything you like in that if you don't like the color if you don't like the points you want to add a text you can modify it and upload it again on the site so that others can use it what you have done it it becomes yours then mm -hmm. afterwards right you can in your name you can upload so you can start a geogebra uh, channel or geogebra kind of uh, yeah. site, right on the site itself Where it will upload many things in your name. Okay. Yeah. So I have shown you how to download also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. So uh, I think we should close this session. It has been a very enriching session. I would request Devi to just propose a vote of thanks.
I think probably uh, later on what may be required is a extensive workshop on this. Those who don't sort of yes, sir. Those so who can you like, give the details? Yeah. And holding and take you along with it, then you require a full workshop on this. Yes. Otherwise, you should yes, be would be amazing. You should be enthusiastic, enthusiastic teacher to read and learn yourself. Okay. Never, never oh. happy. Yeah. yeah. So we'll discuss that because I think we need and the other students are also asking. So we can discuss that, sir. How yeah. it can be possible. Yeah. Revati, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, just uh, thank you, Vinny, ma'am. Uh, it's indeed my privilege to propose yeah. the vote of thanks. Uh, on behalf of the mathematics department, sir, uh, we are very grateful that you came here and you spent your valuable time. Uh, you explained us like we are beginners, so you are very patient with us, and I think everyone we have learned a lot from it, and we are very thankful to you, sir. And we are hoping to have many such uh, uh, more sessions in the future. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank, thank you, sir, you for that. being with us. Thank can you, sir. Can you share my video so that I can say thanks? So uh, we can see your video, sir. Oh, you can see. I, I don't yes. see mine anyway, so I thought I was not visible oh, to anyone. So all throughout, we could see you, sir. We could okay, see you. Also. So let me thank you all for uh, listening. I hope I have ignited some fire in your mind, which will start burning, and you will start learning. Thank you. Take care. Be safe. Bye. Bye. Bye, thank sir. You, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, students. Thank you, sir.